Hey guys, I made it to the writing retreat. I'm officially in New Orleans. And boy, has it been a time. This city is why I've seen so many things that I cannot unsee. I feel like I'm gonna have some great stories. So it is officially the first day here and we're not really writing. We were all really exhausted coming in, uh, flying all day, most of us. We all slept in, went to the grocery store and have kind of been organizing our goals and our game plan for the week. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I'm thinking that, I mean, I took a, a whole week off last week. So if I get any writing done, we're already winning, right? But my thinking is that I would like to to finish the first act of part two, which would include two chapters and an excerpt. Now everything I have is in first draft form, so I need to go through and actually like write it out in full prose and then go through the chapter again and then make it pretty and voicey and all those things. So that's why my goal is so low, just to do the two chapters and the excerpt, because it's really kind of like four chapters and an excerpt. <laughs> also, we're not only writing, we're gonna be doing a bunch of fun things. Hopefully I get some vlog clips of all of that happening. It's like a mix of a vacation and a writing retreat. You okay? Yeah, I'm just vlogging. You wanna say hi? Uh, this hi, man's buddy. with me. <laughs> Toodly -ta. Toodly -ta. I'm out here with a few of my friends that I made through AuthorTube and their lovely partners. And we're just having like a couples trip slash writing retreat. All the dudes are hanging out, playing board games, playing video games all day, and we are writing. So it's, um, I mean, we haven't done any writing yet, but we've been having fun. And then we were on to the official first day of the retreat. That morning we got breakfast from a place called the Twisted Waffle, where literally everything on the menu has waffles. And oh my gosh, was the shrimp and grits with the garlic butter waffles the most divine thing ever? Yes. Seriously, this is the best trip I've ever been on food-wise. Not one meal was a miss. And then we were all busy at work for the day. I was working on chapter 12. I was struggling with a side character's arc that I had not done well enough in this draft and it's been absolutely driving me nuts, but I'm trying my best to ignore it so I can just get this draft done. We did a little brainstorming session, all of us gals, and then we had some lunch. Again, amazing. And then it was time to get out and explore the city. So yesterday was really good. I got all my writing done before 4 p.m. In fact, all of us did. I'm still working on chapter 12, so I almost completed what I would consider the second draft of that chapter. I need to finish that up and then go through for a third time and just like, you know, make it pretty. But this is still the same chapter from my vlog a couple weeks ago where I have the kids all breaking into this creepy old house. They find the secret door that leads them into a tunnel that leads them somewhere else. And then they hear a sound and realize they're not alone in the house. So it's a very fun atmospheric chapter. So I'm having fun with it. And then after that, like you saw, we just hit the town. It was so fun. Saw so many wild things. I'm scarred for life in a lot of ways, but had a great time. <laughs> I also tried eating alligator, which I didn't come down here thinking I was gonna try some weird food, but I did. And I'm not gonna lie, people are right when they say it does taste like chicken, straight up like chicken, even the texture. I mean, I don't think it's gonna become a regular part of my diet, but we'll see. And then I got to play in my first D&D campaign and it was so fun. The very first combat scene that we got into, my grandma was immediately taken out. Like she was just dead. Too much adventure for Grams. And yeah, that was yesterday. I mean, that was it. It was wonderful. Uh, today, it's much the same. We're just chilling around the house, getting a lot of work done. I did go ahead and I finished that second draft of chapter 12. I'm going to hit it once more today, kind of smooth it over and then chapter 12 will officially be done. When I move on to the next part, I'll tell you all about that. I wanted to show you a few things that I got around town. Of course, in the witchy store, I had to get like a voodoo doll because like it's New Orleans, you know what I mean? You have to get a voodoo doll. It says yellow puppets are for solar magic, healing and blessings. So this little fella is probably gonna chill out on my bookshelves when I get home. And then the only other thing that I got was this little coffee sampler. Down here, apparently it's very popular to put chicory root in your coffee. And I tried some the other day and it was divine. I actually have 
chicory like all the time like it grows wild around my house and so I always have it in teas and it has just a really nice it almost has like a licorice root flavor to it but a little bit more floral and I never thought about putting it in a coffee so when I got it the other day I was like you know what I need to bring some of this home <laughs> and then a very fun thing okay you need a little backstory so my critique partner Lainey who's also here her husband makes 3d printed toys and so he asked everyone before they came like what their favorite animals were because they were bringing us all gifts and Lainey knew that I have a whole 3d printed dragon collection and she was like yeah you have a lot of dragons but what you don't have is a little basilisk so she got me the bones of a once alive basilisk and there's like a whole backstory here like you know she's she's her eyes are gone because you know she doesn't want to kill people when you look at her because that's you know what basilisks do she's trying to change the conventions around basilisks and like look at this just like color change ah it's so nice and this is just so therapeutic to just mm. and then back at it writing 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 the rest of the day I did finally finish chapter 12, so proud of myself. And then we all rewarded ourselves for a job well done by playing some Mario Kart and spending the rest of the evening in the pool. Day three, I focused on working on my horror excerpt. I'm adding in little excerpts of like a creepy dark web doll forum situation in between certain chapters. And that's what I focused on today. A lot of the other couples had plans and they were going off and doing their own little afternoon dates. And so I just stayed home, had some breakfast pizza, got in the pool with Brian. And then that evening, me and Lainey and our husbands went out and did a voodoo ghost and vampire tour. It might've been my favorite part of the trip, not gonna lie. Unfortunately, that evening, I got a little bit under the weather. So I don't have any writing clips from day four. In fact, I don't think I wrote day four or day five. It was just kind of a wash at that point, but we did go and do a swap tour. <laughs> it was really, really fun. Day five, again, no writing, but me and Brian got to do a jazz river cruise down the Mississippi, and it was everything that I wanted from New Orleans. It was like the perfect amount of like Creole and Cajun food, wonderful brassy music, and a fun little thing neither one of us had ever done before. Well, survived barely. What you don't know is that I came home super hungover from the trip, like trip hungover wise, not like alcohol hungover wise. Though they did serve daiquiris on every corner. And I was in such a vacation slump. I couldn't work for like a whole week. Like a whole week was just gone. I tried the first two days and every single word was like pulling teeth. And I was just like, this is awful. And so I talked to Lizelle and she was feeling the exact same way. And she's like, you know what? I'm taking tomorrow off. I think you should take tomorrow off too because this is ridiculous. We're wasting more time trying to make ourselves be productive when we could just be like refilling the well and be, you know, getting back to it next week. And I was like, you're so right. And then that fun little thing happens when you're like chronically ill or disabled where you take days off where you feel good. And then when you're like ready to get back to work the next week, you get a pain flare. <laughs> it was so fun. So I was out for four days. My first day back on my feet, feeling great. <laughs> Can finally wrap up this vlog. But essentially that means after my trip, I took like two weeks off of writing. 
and I, I haven't written yet because today is my first day of feeling good so I'm terrified terrified to open up my document that I'm just gonna be like looking at it and paralyzed and unable to move remember that vlog uh, discussion I had a couple weeks ago where I was talking about like I had to relearn to be an author again yeah Still haven't learned. Someone teach me how to write again. Anyways, that's a problem for later vlog, Lindsay. <laughs> I don't have much else to haul. For whatever reason, the Capricorn really kicked in and I just was like not spending money on the trip. But two things I wanted to show was that I got a little Bear Academy sweatshirt. Thanks to Lizelle. She got one of these for all of us. It was so sweet and I love it. I'm not gonna lie. It's been two weeks and I think I've worn this every day. If you guys haven't read Tender Beast yet, you totally should because it's a great horror novel. And then I realized I never showed the 3D printed toy Lainey and her husband made for Brian. Okay, remember how I said that Lainey and her husband asked what everyone's favorite animals were so that they could make a 3D printed animal for them? Brian's, you'll never guess, literally you would never guess, is a cephalopod, specifically a cuttlefish. Look at this thing, this is so fun, oh my gosh. Literally Lainey was like, I had to look up what a cuttlefish was and I was like, everyone does when they tell, when Brian tells them it's his favorite cause like no one knows but yeah, cuttlefishes, that's his favorite. Anyway, what joy. In summary, I loved the trip. I'm so glad I finally just in general got to go to New Orleans. That's one place in America that I really still wanted to go to. I don't have too many places, funny enough, like in the US that I still want to visit. And, uh, but this was one of them. So I get to like mark it off the list. And this trip was super special because we all brought our significant others. And they all got along so great because they're all like <laughs> massive nerds. I honestly think that my husband went on more dates with the other men than he went on with me the entire time. Watching them all form this really tight knit romance was like, the true meaning of the story and yeah it was super fun as a writing retreat i guess it was semi successful like i said we would write till like 4 p.m and then all the fun stuff we would do in the evenings i think next time next time if we do a writing retreat and we want it to be like a super successful retreat i think we need to go somewhere like boring <laughs> like, like we'll just go to like i don't know idaho what the hell's in Idaho? Somewhere where there's nothing going on so that we can just go and write and do nothing else. Like that to me would be like a very successful writing retreat. It'd be a little like maybe a little dull, but we would probably get a lot more done. But that's not what this trip was. This trip was like a friend vacation with a little bit of writing sprinkled in. And yeah, it was really nice. So even though there wasn't that much writing content in this vlog, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And check out Lizelle's vlog. She's already posted hers, so I will link it down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna hang out with me more. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.